By the end of this year, the federal government is due to make a decision about public transport in the Sydney CBD. It must decide between two competing plans, one from its own transport department, the other put forward by an independent body, Infrastructure New South Wales. In a nutshell, the Transport Department recommends light rail, which also is recommended by the City of Sydney, while Infrastructure New South Wales recommends even more buses, travelling down George Street in a tunnel and along Parramatta Road in a trench. It also recommends extending existing motorways and building even more new ones. It is obvious to anybody who uses buses that they are not suited to CBD public transport. They are crowded, slow, polluting, are held up by other traffic, difficult to get on and off, have longer dwell times, create unacceptable levels of noise and air pollution, and simply cannot accommodate the number of passengers that light rail can. Trams, on the other hand, have their own right of way, can carry twice the number of passengers, can be banked in peak hours, which means two or more trams with one driver, they accelerate and decelerate more quickly, they have more, larger and wider doors so passengers can get on and off more quickly, which reduces dwell times and therefore increases capacity even further. They are also quiet running and offer a much smoother ride. In peak times, buses regularly take 20 to 40 minutes to travel the three blocks from Druitt Street to Wynyard. I know because I am a regular user. Tramways should run from Maroubra, Dremoyne, Dulwich Hill and Belmain through the city to Chatswood via Central, Circular Quay and Barangaroo. This would remove many of the nearly 700 buses from the CBD in peak times, which would make for much faster bus journeys from those points further north, east and west. Light rail can carry the same number of people as these buses, but fewer than 220 banked trams. These tramways can be built at much less cost than the proposed tunnels down George Street and Parramatta Road, and although a tram is more expensive to buy than a bus, their working life is longer than that of a bus, and many fewer vehicles would be needed to carry the same number of people. Trams are the future of public transport in the CBD.